I like your light, but I wonder would you light up mine? I've been feeling shine away from who I really, really am. I wish the world would slow down so I can have my own peace of mind. But I won't shine away from who gon' take mine. Lord, would you pick me to shine? I had a key to the golden gate to shine. I wouldn't dare you to cross that line. What's up, YouTube? It's the Honor Family. So we come with you guys with another video for you, 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 and you. So tell them what we're doing today, babe. All right, you guys. So long time no see on the updates, you guys. We have not been keeping track on the updates with you guys, but... Today we are bringing another update on baby Nora and yes, she is almost two years old. So here you go with an update for you guys. That's a blessing. So yeah, um, anyways, so, um, you want to start off or you want to start off? Mm. Like you tell how you feel and then I tell like what's been going on. So. Baby Nora. Went to her um, first therapy appointment, physical therapy, and she did amazing. She did. She was I wasn't amazing. there. I wasn't. I wasn't there. Mm -hmm. But you were. So you gotta tell us story. So, with the lady that is her physician, I guess that's what you call it. Mm -hmm. Physical therapist. Anyways. She basically kept trying to play with Nora, and Nora was not going for it. Like, they had, like, these big tables there. It's, like, a lot of different little toys on top. So the lady was trying to play with Nora, and Nora moved it and started mm. pushing up to the other side of the room, away from it's the real? lady. That's yes. cool. So I think she was afraid of who the lady oh, was. Oh, I saw you. She was she afraid. She was, like, scared of her. Oh, I said that's cool. And you guys, um, <coughs> I'm sorry. If you guys have seen the little rainbow tent that Nora and Baby K has, mm -hmm. Nora, we tried to get Nora to go through that at physical therapy, and she was not going for it. Oh, uh, she wouldn't go th through theirs. No, but she goes through ours. She goes through ours, though. Uh -huh. And I even tried to come through it to, like, get her to come, but yeah. she was not going for it. But she did so good. She's getting better at walking, taking more steps per day. Like, she takes so many steps per day. Uh -huh. I don't see her crawling like that anymore. She's normally, like, on her feet, trying to walk. She falls, she gets her back up and do it. Yeah. But, yeah. So, how do you feel about it? Um, when you was telling me she was climbing up them steps, mm -hmm. I couldn't believe that. So, that was, like, mind-blowing for me. Yes, you guys. Nora's climbing stairs now. Not quite sure on how to climb down, but she knows how to climb up. Yeah, she knows how to climb up. And then she do that like at the um, therapy um, thing though? She was... Like what she, What toy you were talking about? I thought you said some steps. No, they were playing with blocks. Oh, they were playing with blocks? Steps. Yeah. But what they... Didn't, didn't you tell me like the therapy like person um, um, said like... Um, she was climbing on something, wasn't she? Oh, he got the little rolly thing. Yeah, like the little thing. Like, like the little rolly thing. It's like a big... It's like a punching bag, but it's like real huge. Yeah. It's like long. She was trying to roll over it and stuff. She was trying to like, I don't know what she, what was in her mind at the point. Mm -hmm. But she was trying to roll over it. Like, it's like a pushy thing you push. And it's like a punching bag. Yeah. And yeah, she was trying to roll over it and move it. True. She was moving everything. That's now. crazy. I should have been there. Hopefully, say you can go to her next appointment. Her next appointment is August 14th or 15th. One of those things. Mm -hmm. okay. Hopefully, he can go and we can try to get a little bit of footage for you guys. But the therapy room is based on like a lot of toys for them to be able to move better, focus better, and interact with different items yeah. better. So, yeah. And she just told me a few things like on how to get her to be like, better with her yeah. arms and her legs. Yeah. Like, she just told me a few things about that. That's cool. So, yeah. But anyway, so far, Nora is doing pretty, pretty well. Yeah, she be walking around our room. 
she be walking to like here. From one side of the room to the other side. Well, we standing there to always like by the door. Yeah. So yeah, that's what's so good. Cause at first she wasn't like doing that at she, all. She'll take like so, one or two steps in the and, Yeah, and that's what's now, so crazy and amazing. Because like. Now she takes multiple steps. Mm -hmm. Instead of just like two. Cause she used to just be on her knee, her hands and knees. Oh, uh, her leg. She had just. I, it's I, like a spider. Like, yeah, like a, a bear like crawl. A, yeah, like a bear crawl. I'm so proud of my baby though. It's like she she's growing all her teeth. You guys, she has one tooth coming in. So she has like almost six teeth, I think. Mm -hmm. And she's doing better at learning a few words, but she's not like too much on words yeah. right now. But she does know some words, you guys. Yeah. It's not too many. She she know when um. What she be saying to be hungry, eat something like that. Eat. Bye bye. Oh uh, yeah, bye bye. She be saying bye bye. She say bye bye. And that's how she lets me know she's hungry. Cool. That's cute. Yeah. And cute. Yeah. And she just I think she learned how to drink out of a straw. Oh uh, yeah, she learned how to drink out of a straw, y'all. Yes. That's amazing. I think baby K learned that when she like twelve or thirteen yeah. months old. But. But you know what? Her is way more cool because she like it's like. She's getting older and learning new things. Yeah, like, so it's, like learning new it's things. cool. It's like yeah, it's just it's a cool. different pattern. Yeah, and I want to see. And that's those. okay though. Yeah. It's okay. And how Zamora is. Yeah. Yeah. Zamora is more like Journey's twin. Yeah. They look just alike, especially when Journey was a baby, you guys. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I just hope that. Um, everything with Nora goes well in the future with her physical yeah. therapy and this. And when one of her doctors said last time, I really wasn't trying to like get that stuck in my head because I don't want to think about the bad, I don't think about the what? good. What one it? of her doctors told me, because you know how she is diagnosed with Pompeii, which is a lifetime disease that causes delays, like mm -hmm. her walking, talking, moving, her hands, stuff. They said that it could cause her to have like surgery, like That's operation. Right. Mm -hmm. Cause, you know it takes her breathing and stuff away. yeah i think i told you i don't remember but they was like they was talking about doing an operation on her chest yeah and that's kind of scary because plenty of my friends how to do operation on her chest yeah. i don't like that stuff. it's scary it's, it's just scary yes so pray for us that she does not have to have that you guys oh. there's been a while back when they told us but hope nothing was nothing else was about that has been brought up yet that's a good sign it's just it's just a scary thing you guys yeah. so let's hope and pray that the future brings a beautiful oh yeah pray for us journey well, for yeah. our baby you guys but yeah all you can do is hope for the best and pray that everything's gonna be okay which i believe it is i believe it is too i mean everybody has problems as they get older yeah. breathing problems and her breathing problem isn't like horribly terrible like yeah it's just like when she cries, it goes in and out, like, a little inch a bit. Yeah. And then, you know, sometimes when she screams and she just overdoes herself, it's like you got to pat on her yeah. chest and blow on her mouth because, like, her breathing goes in and out. But it's not like it happens every one, two seconds, like, barely, though. But it's still a little scary, though. That's the only baby we have to really worry about because yeah. she has breathing problems. I think she has, I think she has, I think she has asthma. She probably have asthma too, because you know, most people with breathing problems, I think you have asthma. And you know, when you run, you gotta stop and take a breath and deep breath and stuff. I don't know. But I'm just so blessed for my girls, you guys, and to have a kid that I have to be way more closer to because of the things she goes through in her life. But I'm gonna be close to all my kids. Don't get me wrong, I love each and every one of them. But Nora is one we have to really be there for because she's so special you guys she's so special dang um, that's gonna make me cry it brings me back to when we was in the hospital and she had to go to NICU it's just it's that moment is special to us because we got to go and pick her up and bring her home with us it's just so special I'm not trying to bring these old times up because it's first. sad but it's just so special you guys <sighs> Nora is something special to us y'all very all of them of course but Nora, yeah. Nora's a tough one. 
they're all stingy guys. That's what we keep looking at, the kids are over here. But yeah. That's so crazy, because I remember when we first left the hospital, they were mm -hmm. like, we couldn't stay. We My couldn't stay. And she, we couldn't stay. She couldn't come home with us. Man, we're walking down the aisle. The year starts bawling. And I'm, I want to cry at this point. But yeah, it's, it's like, I like, want to be strong to hold my bro. tears back. But when I got in the room, bro, my tears was just like I this. started crying first. Yeah. But because I was trying to be strong for our baby. Like, I want to be strong for her. Like, I don't want to. Everything happens for a reason. And the only reason she was in Nikki is because, like, she. I, I don't think it was, like, something about her not feeding right or something, eating right or something like that. Yeah. But. So, yeah, he started crying for it. I was trying to hold back because I was trying to be strong. But once we got in our room, my eyes were just more like tears everywhere, you guys. Then me and Zayn started hugging. It's like, everything's going to be okay. You're going to see in a couple of days. And like two or three days later, we had to go pick her up. It was just a beautiful blessing. Oh, oh that's what made me cry. Baby. Oh. She is so emotional when it comes to the kids, y'all. Me too. I just want to be strong for my kids and I don't want to show them like when I'm I don't want to let them know when I'm sad or when I feel depressed I don't want them to know because I don't want them to feel you know um when baby K was little she used to cry when she seen one of us cry during when she sees one of us cry she just sits there and look at you and come give you a kiss it's just like I want to be strong for my kids <laughs> I want to see them like that even but it's okay baby it's okay Appreciate you guys. Okay. 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 okay, you guys, I think I'm going to end this video here because I'm getting a little emotional making me want to cry and i don't like crying on camera so if you like this video please like comment subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can be notified when we upload our next video and we'll see you next time you guys we love you guys so much see you next time bye be on a family thank you for the watching Lord, would you pick me to shine? I had a key to the golden gate to shine. I wouldn't dare you to cross that line.